Hey guys, it's Coach Damon, and today we're going to talk to you about an elite concept called the Kobe Kill Box. Now Kobe, he obviously emulated Michael Jordan's game, and what Kobe called his kill boxes, Jordan called his launching pads. But the premise is exactly the same, that the five spots on the court that we're about to go through are spots that if you get to, you're launching to the rim, or you're killing the defense because there's no way to guard. Now with Kobe's kill boxes, spot one is going to be the elbow. And when I get to that elbow, not only is this a high percentage shot, but more importantly, when I'm able to penetrate to this spot on the court, there's absolutely going to be help side defense. So if I penetrate here and a strong side hits over, that's going to be a kick for a wide open shot. So when Kobe originally developed and talked about these kill boxes, the three wasn't as prevalent. And with him, it was getting to the spot and it was absolutely going to be a make, a super high percentage shot. Even now with the influence analytics where teams are shooting a lot more threes, again, if I get to this spot, there has to be help side defense. If not, then I'm gonna be all the way to the rim. So when I get to kill box one, I'm either gonna have scoring options or I'm gonna have kick options. Now kill box two is gonna be straight on down the slot or lane line, and that's gonna be right in the block area. Now obviously, if you're a big or if you're a guard, when you get to this spot, you're gonna be very difficult to stop. If you're a guard, you're going to have footwork, you're going to have your floaters, and just as importantly, if you're this deep, the entire defense is going to have to have collapsed, so you're again going to have that kick out where you've created wide open shots for your teammates. Now spots three and four are going to be the exact same on the opposite side. Now when we were on the left side, we talked about actions and options that we're going to have to the wing. Now at the same time, if I penetrate to kill box three, and let's say the big man steps up to help, then my big is gonna be wide open on the block where I'm gonna be able to dump down and hit him there. Or if I attack straight down the lane line, then he may fill to the short corner where I can hit to this spot. So kill boxes aren't just about creating options for the perimeter, we can create options for bigs as well. And everything we've done to this point has been from the top of the key, but I can get to these kill boxes from the wings as well. And if I were to attack this kill box, then I'll have that lift where he lifts to the elbow, where I can get here and I can hit or I can pivot. But again, the entire defense collapsed because I got to one of these spots. Now our final spot, which is going to be the ultimate kill box, is going to be right here on the midline. Now if I get to this spot, of course, I've only got three seconds to work with. But I'm not going to need any of that because if I'm here, I've got options in 360 degrees. That can be bigs for the dump down. That can be guards for the kick. Or I can have the fill behind. But if I get to this kill box here, I'm owning the court. The defense has to collapse. I have options, again, in 360 degrees. I can score it, I can pass it, but I'm gonna be unstoppable from this spot on the court. With high level players, we talk a lot about getting to your spots. But it's pretty much universal across the game. If you can get to these five kill boxes, positive things are going to happen either for you scoring or for your teammates. Get to spots, be good enough to make plays, and your efficiency is going to be very high from the five Kobe kill boxes.